Actually, off the back of the, the success of the, um, the Fat and Skinny Bullet, um, I've, I've been asked to do a lot of customising down from the fat because the fat was quite wide and quite thick and it did attend to a market which needed that. Uh, and the Skinny Bullet, which um, is still gathering followers, but it was more of a go-to normal surfboard, which was pretty well a replacement for your thruster. And, um, uh, most people wanted to experiment with quads as a small wave design because they saw that as a small wave design, even though it's not, they saw it as that. So uh, as I began um, making so many fat bullets, I found I was customising a lot down, so I thought there's room in the middle for something not so wide and not so thick, but still wider than a skinny, because it's still going to be a fish. So I thought about it, and uh, so I, I, I formed a volume in between the, the skinny and the fat. And uh, because it was the answer for many of those people, I'll just call it the silver bullet. Um, so, in my mind, um, you know, when people are sort of getting a fish, some people have got a measurement of width that they want to go to, and the fat bullet was way over that, even though they're bigger guys. So, um, the, the silver bullets come in the middle. So, the design is pretty well exactly the same as the, the fat bullet. Has the hull, um, it, it has the V that it runs up a bit further. Uh, the, where the silver board, the V is a bit shorter, but because this is a wider board still, as, as I maintain, uh, with wide boards with concaves, you need the relief of a V up through the fins to get them from rail to rail because they they don't really want to go to rail to rail if they're wide concaves. A lot of designers are finding that now that they're putting concaves way through these big wide things and they just don't want to go to rail. They might skim around the surface, but they just don't want to go to rail. So that's why I've included the, the V in the, in the silver bullet. Another, another addition to this too is um, I discovered that moving the, the rear fins on a, on a quad, uh, quite big movements, doesn't really upset the apple cart too much, whereas with the thruster it does. If you move it right up, it, it can spin out so easily, and if you move it right back, it can be really tight. Uh, there's still a good reason to move the thruster fin up and down, but you can do it with a quad even more so without any detrimental effects at all because they still do hang into the face of the wave, they still bite the face of the wave. So if you move the back fin up and these moves, these moves, these fins move backwards and forwards, uh, they'll even move further forward when we get the right fin for them, but at the moment they, they move about three eighths of an inch uh, and they'll move half an inch. And in future, this, this box system is, uh, is going to come out with a longer back box which means you can move them even more. And, you can, and when you do that, you end up with a, a much shorter arc in smaller waves with the back fins up, they don't spin out. And if you want to roll up a board in quite bigger waves, you get a longer arc by putting those fins back. So it just increases the versatility of a very versatile board. Anyway, quads are very versatile, they'll surf in bigger waves. And this just makes them surf better in bigger waves or better in smaller waves. So I've adopted this system. It, um, it takes an FCS fin. Uh, it takes also the fins that um, Greg Trotter does for this particular system, but they're designed so they'll fit an FCS fin system because at the moment that is still the most popular fin system and people have those fins, so uh, I'm not about to change the world. Uh, they sit in like a future box, but you do have that movement of the fins. So uh, to me, I think it's, it's only included in this particular model uh, and uh, it may be other models in the future, but I don't want to scare the market, but to me it's a great addition for this particular board. So. Being, being um, a more of a, well not a high performance, but it's a high performance fish, I've also decided to actually make this board a lightweight glass job um, because of the back of the success of our diagonals. Um, and these boards are quite wide too, so they don't really want to break in half. The wider boards don't want to break in half as much as longer, narrower boards do. So uh, I've done this for the, the 4x4 diagonal to keep it light. But uh, what I've done is a lot of people smash it back to the boards, they do. So I've, I've run this carbon all the way around the tail, so I've still got the carbon out to here. There's actually another glass, glass flap here, which you can't see, but is there to give it more strength just around this real busy part. Uh, but the, the carbon to the tail does protect the tail a bit more, so it's just a tail protector, and also it's acted like the carbon flaps goes right down to the edge, so you don't get the tail cancer splitting. Uh, so that's another addition to it, but. Uh, Yes, this is going to just come in clear because um, it's for more high performance guys who want to fish and um, um, we're just trying to keep the price realistic. Um, what I've also done with this, being narrower and thinner, 
I've actually even rolled the deck a bit more. Even though it's still got the pinched shoulder, it's got a little bit more roll. So this makes it feel a little bit less offensively thick through here, which has upset some people who weren't really big guys and they, 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 they challenged the design. But they, they fought too hard, too long and hard with that extra rail thickness. So um, this is sort of toned down a little bit, but it's still basically a flattish deck. So um, under the arm, it feels a bit more like a high performance surfboard, but it still has that shoulder, but uh, it's not over, overly thick. Um, but anyway, so, so this is the, the silver bullet, and I think this will fit right in the middle of, of all of our two boards. I'm, I've got, had so much great feedback with the round tail quads, I get annoyed when I can't find the right, the right volume for somebody, uh, particularly on the floor. I mean, we, I make them all the time, but a lot of people want the board straight away, and uh, now I'll have this in the, in the rack as a, as a suggestion from fat, silver to skinny, if I can't get the right demographic of person there with the weight, then there's something wrong. But I still do customers, of course. But uh, pretty well, that's what the, the silver board is. Um, and um, it's a light, a reactive, uh, versatile board because of the fins, which I think will probably become the biggest seller of, of the bullets, hopefully, because of the fact that it um, has a versatility and it's not overly thick or overly thin.